Getting something for camp, how's it feeling? It feels good. You know, it feels good just to get back in football. There's always uh, that anticipation, especially in July when you know it's, it's coming. Uh, you, know, you know the grind's coming, but just the fact that you're going to be uh, doing football again, coaching and getting back on the field. Uh, you're hearing pads pop. You smell the, uh, you smell the big skin. I mean, that, those feelings, they come back and it's kind of a rush. Uh, so it feels really, really good. And then your first experience here at UConn going through training camp, so how's that gone thus far? I'm sure you enjoyed the summer and now so today's down to work. Day two. Today's day two of uh, official training camp. And it's been really good so far. Uh, spring ball went really well. And just uh, engaging with the guys and, and, and learning how to trust each other. It was really, really a great experience with them. All great guys. Uh, I love my position group. Um, you know, and I'm, I'm excited for more. I'm excited for them to, to, to continue to grow, to take that next step from where they left off in spring. Um, and, and we're just getting ready to attack this, this season. Now, specifically on the defensive line, from spring, what do you like from what you saw? I liked uh, I liked the way they worked. Uh, I liked that they bought in. Uh, it's not always easy to when you've been with a, a staff your entire career or most of your career. It's not easy to make that transition. So I like that they gave us their attention and they gave us their trust. They put their trust in us to help get them uh, to the point where they want to be. Um, and, and that's the biggest thing that I like from what we did. We were very, very basic in the spring and we just worked on the fundamentals. And, and those guys giving me their trust, I think, uh, allowed them to push themselves, which is huge when we're working on the fundamentals. And that's going to be that's going to be our goal. A couple older guys on the D-line uh, that seem to be probably going to be the leaders heading into the season at the position. Luke Carzola, we can start with him on, on the outside. What do you like about his game? He played a little outside linebacker last year. He, he told me at, at Newport he's going to be more D-line. Um, somebody that can get to the quarterback off the edge. Yeah, I mean, he's, he's got a lot of natural athleticism. He, he's got a great motor to him. You know, it's uh, one of the things that you look for when you're recruiting defensive linemen is you look for guys who use their hands, uh, and he just does that really, really naturally. You know, he's going to bring a lot of he's going to bring a lot to the table as far as pass rush and on a, on a base down, uh, you know, in a base down situation, he's going to he's going to bring a lot. He's got good size, good strength, good speed. Uh, he's going to have a good year. Also brings a lot of energy on the field. A lot of energy. A lot of energy. I haven't been around him. You know, he missed spring ball. Uh, you know, from a practice standpoint, but he was there. He was a great leader. He, he was great with the guys, working with them, motivating from the sideline. I'm sure he's going to do more of the same. From the end spot in a 3-3-5, how does that, their responsibility differ from a regular 4-3 or 3-4 e even? Yeah, it, it, it differs in the fact that they're called ends. Uh, it doesn't differ when you look at what a uh, three technique in the, in the four down defense does. These guys that get off the football, their job is to penetrate <laughs> and get knocked back, get off blocks and go make plays. Uh, you know, we don't ask them to really play the quarterback very much, which is something different than what I've done and I think what a lot of other four down teams do. They're gonna be. They're gonna be able to, to let it loose a lot more. They're gonna be able to. It's what I tell my love about our defense. Yeah, they're gonna be able to just let their athleticism the and, and let their desire show out there on the field. And on the inside, Foley Fatsukasi, uh, obviously a very talented guy. How do you think you can utilize his talents? I mean, you just let him let him go play. You know, he's got a. His job is not an easy one. Uh, what we're asking him to do is going to be hard uh, playing that zero nose technique. Uh, but he's got the, he's got the strength. He's got the athleticism. He's got the ability to do it and do it really, really well. So we're very excited to see what he can do. We're very excited to watch him uh, demand blocks and command uh, double teams and things like that. Uh, I think it's going to be a lot of fun to watch him. He's got to play. What are you looking for uh, from the fan base? From the fan base, just the same thing that they've been doing, just supporting the Huskies. You know, we're going to do our best, our absolute best, to try to make you guys proud of the fan base. And, and just continue to give us the support that you've given the UConn Huskies, and, and we'll make you proud.